Hi, in this lesson we'll be looking at the basics to harmonizing songs. You may have, uh, you may find yourself in a situation where you want to try and harmonize a song. This may be a song you've written yourself or a song that is already out there, but you don't have access to chord charts or a record to listen to and try to figure out the songs. So I'm going to give you a few guidelines uh, that you can use to harmonize songs on your own. So let's get into it. Now, we want to follow a few, uh, some of the basic steps for doing this, okay? Uh, my first step is always find the melody. So the melody is very important. Um, one, one song we are going to use to practice, we'll still stay in the key of C sharp, okay? Uh, I give myself away. If you know the song, that's good. If you don't, just get the melody here and let's work together, okay? So the melody goes like, um, okay. So it goes uh, one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, so that's the, the melody of, of the song. And if you you know your solfest one uh, do re mi fa so it's easier because in if you're using the numbers you would have said one four 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 three three two one four 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 three 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 two three two one uh, I did quite well on that I'm not used to that but you can say do fa 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 mi mi re do fa 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 mi 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 re mi re do I can easily remember this because it sounds like music already, right? Instead of the numbers. Okay, now, after doing this, uh, your next step is you need to find the root notes or the bass line, okay? So, uh, most one of the tricks is that most of the time, the bass line is a third below the melody. That's 70 to 80% of the time. So, um, in this, the, the bass line, when uh, it goes... That's where the first bass line comes in. So it goes. Um, so a third below. I mean, if this you want to find a third below this, you want to ask yourself who has the third being this. So in other words, you go two two steps back in the scale. Okay. So the major scale for C sharp is. Okay. So you go two steps back in the scale, and that's that. Okay. So. And you try to play the, the melody and the, the bass line together. Okay, so. Okay, and then. Okay, so on this one as well, I'm, I'm placing the chords as at um, the one beat. Okay. One, two, three, four. Next chord, one. Okay, so. If you listen to the song, uh, the actual song, you hear that the bass guitar goes one, okay, to the seven, then it goes to the six, five, four, okay. So that's one way. You hear the song, listen to the bass guitar, you know the bass line, you know the melody. Now you're going to try and find harmonies to the song, okay. Um, so. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So uh, now let's look at the next step. So now you're going to find chord inversions. Now this is where inversions become very, very important. I have a couple of students who don't like to hear inversions. They think it's too you know tiring or tedious but it's very important uh, that you know your chord inversion so now on the first chord it's a one now the bass note is determining what chord it is so the bass note says it's one so it's a one chord okay so you're going to play your one chord okay but then you're going to find make sure that you invert it and have have the melody always on top when you are trying to harmonize these songs okay 
So instead of playing the one chord like this, uh, start with the basic one chord. I'm going to invert it into this inversion. Okay, so. Okay. And then uh, I go to the next chord. So where you need to find where the melody meets the where the melody meets the root note and whatever chord is this in this case you see that a seven is meeting with this chord so it's a, you need to find a seven chord with the melody as uh, this two okay and lucky enough for us our regular seven chord which is a sus two of the two uh, five chord has that on top so we are lucky okay so Okay, and then you move to that. Now that's the next chord. It's a six chord with that on top. And now a regular six chord has that on top as well. Okay, so let's... Uh, we are going to be using basic triads for now. Then after that, we add some embellishments. Okay, so... Okay, basic harmony. Okay. Okay, now it goes to, okay, okay, it was a, it went from the uh, three, just went somewhere slightly before coming to the one, so you could play any chord with the, with a, this ray or the two on top, you could play a five, uh, five chord and then you bring it down to the four chord, okay? So if we look at the next step, you, you want to try and play uh, the melodies in, in between. So this, that's what, exactly what we did. So not every melody is going to meet up with a chord. So you play some melody and set, certain melodies are going, the certain parts of the melody are going to meet up with a chord. Now this is going to be a long lesson, so bear with me, because uh, it's a very broad topic, okay? So certain melodies are going to meet up with uh, the chord, so that you need to take note. Those that don't meet up, you, you play them in the middle single notes, or you can use something I call six, uh, that's called six, and that makes it, uh, gives it a better sound. We'll try that as well. Uh, so you see, uh, you're going to add the me melodies in, in between. So that's exactly what we did. So, okay. 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 Good. Now uh, you want to now add second, sixth, seventh, and this is basically up to you. After you get your basic harmony, uh, instead of playing this, you can add you can add your second to make it like a lot heavier. So okay, and then okay. So all, all, what I'm doing here is instead of playing. This I'm dropping that here to get a minor seven sound. So okay, if your hands are bigger, you can always stretch bigger. That's a wide stretch at the eleven. Okay. Okay. To the four. All I'm doing is playing like. Uh, a bigger version of the four chord okay and I'm adding this on the bottom here okay we're going to try to use the same process to figure out how to harmonize certain songs so uh, if you look at it I give myself away this is the one we just played we can try to use it for what a beautiful name it is okay so figure out the melody and the bass line so So you see, 
you need to get the timing of where the the chords are coming in and where the melodies so some melodies are uh, friendly they follow the chords some also are a bit misplaced they are not exactly on the count okay so if you feel that the mel melody playing single notes it's a bit it's a bit boring you can use six six okay and that goes like this so uh, the way I see sixth is you look at uh, the third okay it's like an inverted third so this is the melody uh, I do for the third of that which is B flat and put it on the bottom okay and same also secondly if I use the pedal it sounds better So now, when you add these 151 or 152 left hand patterns, okay, you add them to it. So, right. So try to take a song, find the melody, find the bass line, put them together, play, uh, use the bass line to determine what chord it is, and use play an inversion that has the melody on top. So uh, thank you for joining me in this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.